Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to show you my Venus flytrap and give you an update on how it's doing. So the last video I showed you I think was the one with the time lapse and what happened is basically I had it outside on my balcony all summer but because it's so cold here in Scotland the plant really didn't ever think it was summer and it just grew very slowly and it was suffering quite a lot. So I brought it inside, put it under a grow lamp and you saw that in the time lapse and I put a video link at the end of this video and you can see it was starting to grow really quite well. So since then I've put it on a sunny windowsill, even though there's not a huge amount of light at this time of year, but the extra warmth it's had has really caused it to grow a lot. You can see that these traps are quite large now, and I've been feeding it. I've fed it about three or four times, I think, in the last few months. You can see these are the traps that I've fed, they've died off now. They've um, The traps often die once you feed them. But you can see how much more healthy growth there is compared with last time, and the traps are much bigger, which is nice. So. Um, I think it's almost ready now to put into winter dormancy. I'll keep it under the grow lamp for a few more few more days, try and get some more energy into the roots, get the little bulbs underground swelled up so it can overwinter well. And then it'll go back in the balcony and it'll stay there until spring. Because what you need to do with Venus fly traps is they need a cold period. If they don't have a cold period, then they'll just kind of stop growing and they'll slowly die away within a couple of years. So I'll be giving it the winter period because where they come from in North America, it does get cold in winter and they need that cold spell to, to go through their normal life cycle. So as I say, in a few weeks I'll put this outside, most of the traps will probably die off but I'll have one or two left. And then in spring, what I'll do this year is I'll actually bring it into the house because last year I left it outside and it just was so cold our summers, the plant really didn't know it was, it was summer so it just kind of didn't grow much or do a lot. So the next spring I'm expecting much bigger traps, I might probably have to be we pot it as well. You can see it's already a bit crowded, and if it's going to grow a lot more next summer, I'll definitely need to repot it. Um, it'll also probably grow up a flower spike, but I'll nip that off as I want to encourage it to put more energy into growing bigger traps and becoming a bigger plant. What I'm thinking I might also do next spring is buy another type of Venus flytrap. This is just kind of like a normal Venus flytrap, which is very similar to the ones you get in the wild, but there's been a lot of people recently breeding bigger and bigger. Venus fly traps, which are probably three or four times the size of this. So I'm going to see if I can get one of them ordered for the post on in, in springtime. See if I can get myself a giant Venus fly trap because I think that will look quite nice. And now, now I'm happy that I can, can grow a Venus fly trap successfully. Because when I was a kid, I tried these these plants, but as a child, I didn't know about the winter dormancy. I didn't know quite about um, different pH levels in the water and stuff like that. But now I've managed to to successfully grow it really healthily. I'm quite confident I can buy some more interesting varieties and have some really giant traps on them. So all I'll be doing with this is I'll take off some of the dead material um, just before I put it outside and as I say I'll just leave it to be, be left outside. So that's all for this video but I'll, I'll put up another video soon with some close-ups, some macro photography and also some, some feeding slow motion clips as well. 